Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. As you know, I am not an attorney, but today I wanna to talk about something that is deeply, deeply important um, to me because I've lost a parent and I've learned firsthand how crucial it is to be prepared for end of life. So this video is about essential documents that you should have organized really no matter your age. Now, before we dive in, I just want to emphasize that this is not legal advice, but rather just information based on my own uh, personal experience. So it's really important that you consult with a local attorney to make sure that your documents are tailored to your specific needs as well as your state laws. So let's start with the essentials. Number one, a will. You've all heard of that. Why do you need it? Well, this helps to choose an executor and lay out how your assets should be distributed after you pass away. Without it, your estate goes through probate and state laws will decide how to distribute your assets. Number two, a living revo revocable trust. So you need this to manage your assets while you're alive and smoothly transfer them to your beneficiaries without probate. Without it, your assets will go through probate, which can be both time consuming and costly. Okay, what about a living will? Well, a living will specifies your wishes for end of life medical care if you're unable to communicate. Without it, decisions are made on state law and then disputes could end up in court. Anybody remember Terry Schiavo? Um, that was a part of the situation there. Okay, healthcare power of attorney. So your healthcare power of attorney appoints someone you trust to make medical decisions on your behalf. Without it, state law decides who can make decisions, potentially leading to legal battles among family members. It's just not fun. Um, a few more important documents that um, might not be top of mind but are just as important. Copy of your marriage license and divorce decrees, copy of your latest federal tax returns, financial accounts, letter of instruction or intent, telling your family how do you want this to go, funeral plans, and maybe a business, business succession plan. So <clears throat> I know this topic can be difficult, but making those documents and making the decisions and getting your documents together can really, really, really be a gift to your loved ones. It brings peace of mind knowing that your wishes will be respected and trusted and the family won't have to navigate these complex issues alone. So take some time, get organized, and please, please consult with an attorney who can guide you through the specifics for your wishes in your state. I hope you find this helpful, even though it's a little off our normal real estate trajectory here. I hope you have a great day and let us know what questions you have.